to keep it Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. You take the room. I have bug assault. So, do you guys like spiders? Well, today we have some creepy crawly crafts for you guys. First up, we're gonna be making some glittery hot glue spider webs. You're gonna wanna lay the aluminum foil onto your work surface. Uh, the piece I have is extremely wrinkly because it was the last piece on the roll, but Having a smooth piece of aluminum foil would be ideal. And then you're just going to take your hot glue and you're going to put streaks of it onto your aluminum foil in the shape of a spider web. I just freehanded the spider web. You could take a sharpie and draw on the aluminum foil and then just place your glue over your spider web pattern. Make sure that all of your spider web strings overlap so that you will be able to pull it off in one solid piece. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Just lay your glue down in a spider web pattern and then quickly apply your glitter before the glue dries. Make sure to wait at least 10 minutes before you peel it off just to make sure all the hot glue is completely dry and you do not burn yourself. And then the hot glue will easily peel off of the aluminum foil. And now you have this beautiful little rubbery spider web. Our next craft we're gonna be doing today is super fun and easy for kids of all ages to do. The supplies you're going to need are going to be four black pipe cleaners, two black pom-poms, two googly eyes, and some craft glue. You're gonna start by laying the four pipe cleaners next to each other, and then you're just simply going to twist them together right in the center. After your pipe cleaners are all twisted, you're just going to apply some craft glue right to the center of it and then glue your two little puff balls on. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can take your googly eyes and apply little drops of your craft glue and glue on its little eyeballs. The last step is you're going to bend your little pipe cleaner spider's legs so that he can stand up all on his own. You can also make smaller ones simply by cutting the pipe cleaners in half and doing the same thing. And you can also use colored pom-poms or add a whole bunch of googly eyes if you want to. For this craft, you're going to need a glass bottle. I just have an olive oil one here. You can also use a wine bottle. Also gonna need a pair of scissors, some hot glue, some nautical rope. I just got this one at the Dollar Tree. Some confetti spiders. And some Halloween cobwebs. So we're going to be placing a little blob of glue onto the top of the bottle to start off our project. So we're going to need to cut a little chunk of spider webs off. We only need a little bit because these stretch very far and a little bit goes a long way with these spider webs. Now we're just going to apply a small blob of hot glue right on top of the bottle and then we'll be putting our spider webs on top of that. And that will keep them in place on our bottle. I'm going to use the back of my scissors to press down on the hot glue and make sure that it's adhered to the spider webs so that we don't burn ourselves on the hot glue. And now you're slowly just going to pull down on the spider webs and stretch it over the bottle. Once you've almost stretched it over the bottle, you're going to flip the bottle upside down. You're going to apply a small blob of hot glue onto the bottom of the bottle and then press your spider webs into it so that it is completely adhered to the bottle and the spider webs will not fall off. Keep doing that until all of your corners are covered. Now at this point you could cut off the excess if you think that you have enough spider webs on your jar or you could flip it back over and pull the cobwebs around the glass one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it over one more time give an extra thin layer of spider webs to that side of the bottle. And then I'll be clipping off any excess that I do not want. Next, we're gonna take some of our nautical rope and we're going to be wrapping it around the top of the bottle to add a little extra detail. The nautical rope is a little too thick for this bottle, so I'm just going to unwrap it so I just have one long, thin strand. I'm going to apply a small dab of hot glue to adhere the rope to the bottle. Then I'm just going to keep wrapping it around until most of the neck of the bottle is covered. Snip off the excess rope and add a little dab of glue. Now I'm going to take an extra piece of the nautical rope and I'm going to make a little knot around the top of the bottle. I'm going to trim up the excess on the ends of the rope and then I'm going to fray it out a little bit. Give it a more worn out look. Now 
Now we're going to take our confetti spiders and glue them in random places along the bottle. And there you have it, that's it for this easy creepy crawly craft. So that's it, that's all we have for you today. Those were three super easy spider crafts. Thank you for watching today's video. For extra content, you can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. God loves you. Happy Halloween. Keep it creepy. <laughs>